In our previous lesson, we learnt about the rule of Alauddin Khalji. Alauddin Khalji was a very powerful sultan under the Khalji dynasty. During his rule, the Khalji dynasty was witness to great political stability and administrative efficiency. But after the death of Alauddin Khalji, it was his son Qutbuddin Mubarak Shah who briefly sat on the throne. Incompetent as he was, he was killed by his chief minister Khusru Khan, who was in turn replaced by Ghazi Malik. So the year 1320 marks the end of the Khalji dynasty and with this we come to the third great dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate that was the Tughlaq dynasty. In this lesson, we will try to trace who the Sultan was who established the Tughlaq dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate and we will also try to understand how this Sultan ruled this dynasty. These are the two strands of discussion that we will be taking up in today's lesson. Now before we begin our discussion on who this Sultan was, keep this in mind. This Tughlaq dynasty that is the Sultans of the Tughlaq dynasty were of Turkish origin. These Sultans were Turks by birth. Now who was the Sultan who founded this great dynasty? It was Ghazi Malik who ascended the throne in 1320. 1320 marks the end of the Khalji dynasty and in the same year Ghazi Malik became the Sultan of the Tughlaq dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate. That is he founded the great mighty Tughlaq dynasty. Now, when Ghazi Malik ascended the throne, he was no longer known as Ghazi Malik. Instead, he assumed the title Ghiasuddin Tughlaq. After ascending the throne, it was Ghazi Malik who now came to be known as Ghiasuddin Tughlaq. So, in our discussion, henceforth we will be calling him Ghiasuddin Tughlaq, who was the first Sultan of the Tughlaq dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate. And this dynasty was founded in the year 1320. Ghiasuddin Tughlaq founded the Tughlaq dynasty in 1320 and he ruled from 1320 to 1325. During his rule, he gave importance to quite a few things. First of which would be postal arrangements. Secondly, another very important thing during his rule was judiciary and police. This judiciary and police were given very importance during his rule and this is something we will come to in a while. Along with that, irrigation was also given great importance by Ghiasuddin Tughlaq. Simultaneously with irrigation, he placed importance on agriculture. So, Irrigation and agriculture together were very important during his rule. And lastly, but very importantly, we should discuss justice and moderation during his rule. In fact, his entire rule was founded on the principles of justice and moderation. During Ghiasuddin's rule, land revenue was very well organized. Along with that, Cultivators were also treated very well and they were taken care of by the Sultan himself. Ghiasuddin also made sure that abuses were not meted out to them, which is why officials who were found abusive or corrupt were severely punished. Now this brings us to another important point, who punished these abusers? For this reason, Judiciary and police were very important during the rule of Ghiasuddin Tughlaq. He had an elaborate judiciary and police and it is for this reason that is for a strong judiciary and police security was ensured even in the remotest parts of his dynasty. Along with that he also established an elaborate taxation system. Why was it so? Because this taxation system was intended to finance his rule. Now 
these things constituted very important landmarks or very important focal points of the rule of Ghyasuddin Tughlaq. Ghyasuddin Tughlaq started the construction of the Tughlaqabad fort in the year 1321. Ghyasuddin built this fort for the people who were living in his dynasty. Now these people were not willing to leave their homes and shift to the Tughlaqabad fort which is why this fort was not at all populated. Now what happened to the fort? It was constructed in 1321 and then Ghyasuddin saw that the fort was not at all populated. So in the year 1327, Ghyasuddin abandoned this Tughlaqabad fort. What you can see here is this Tughlaqabad fort as we know it today. And this fort was abandoned in the year 1327 only because it was not well populated. That is, not many people had begun to stay in this fort, which is why it was abandoned in the year 1327. But before we continue our discussion on the rule of Ghyasuddin Tughlaq, let me ask you a question. In which year was that Tughlaqabad fort constructed? Was it in 1321, 1323 or 1325 or 1327? Yes, you are right. The Tughlaqabad fort was constructed in 1321 and since it was not well populated, it was abandoned in 1327. Now you must be wondering why I am suddenly showing you this map of India with certain territories marked in it. This is because these are the areas that Ghyasuddin Tughlaq controlled during his rule. The territories of Bengal, Odisha and Warangal which is present in the modern day state Andhra Pradesh were brought under the control of the Tughlaq dynasty during the rule of Ghyasuddin Tughlaq. Ghyasuddin Tughlaq, the founder of the Tughlaq dynasty as he was, could rule only for a short period. He ruled from 1320 to 1325. Because after this brief rule, he was killed by his son, Juna Khan. So now, after the murder of Ghyasuddin Tughlaq in the year 1325, it was his son, Juna Khan, who now ascended the throne and became the Sultan of the Tughlaq dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate. For your information, keep this in mind that when Juna Khan ascended the throne, he took the title Muhammad Tughlaq. We have also seen this in the case of his father, that when Ghazi Malik ascended the throne and founded the Tughlaq dynasty in 1320, he assumed the title Ghyasuddin Tughlaq. And when his son Juna Khan murdered Ghyasuddin Tughlaq in 1325, he followed a similar pattern. Now he took the title Muhammad Tughlaq and he was also known as Muhammad bin Tughlaq. So Muhammad Tughlaq or Muhammad bin Tughlaq was the next Sultan of the Tughlaq dynasty under the Delhi Sultanate. Muhammad Tughlaq was also known as a confused genius. You must be wondering why, that is why was this Sultan called a confused genius? It is this discussion that we will be taking up in a subsequent lesson simultaneously with understanding the rule of Muhammad Tughlaq. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to all our 5000 plus amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.